Okay, to add your own repeat tile, go ahead and click on your fabric so that when the fabric is selected, the property editor changes. And they call repeat prints, they call, use the word texture. Um, so right now the basic white one doesn't have anything. So if you hit these little four squares, you should be able to just open up a pre-made file. So I saved one on my desktop. Let's see if I can find that, there we go. Now, if you're gonna use it, your own tile, you do wanna make sure it's in repeat. So this one right here, I actually have it in repeat. I'll show you the bad one that's not in repeat. Like that just means like the edges don't line up. And let's see, do you guys, like, can you see, there is not a seam here on this pattern piece. It's just that the art does not line up, right? So that doesn't look good. So you have to be careful. So that's what's kind of cool about Clo with their other tools to help you generate prints and they'll help you get it where the edges match up. But here, I'll go ahead and change it to the one that um, I did get lined up in Photoshop. And so now the artwork matches, so you don't have to worry um, about that. So yeah, anyways, it's just this check texture thing. So a lot of these fabrics do come with a texture like this corduroy, for example, I'm gonna click that. So it actually has texture in it so that it looks like corduroy. Um, so you would have to figure out how to add a print on top of that, um, which you could use some of these tools, or you could even open up this little corduroy thing and open it in Photoshop and add stuff to it too as well. There's so many different things. But anyways, add your own print. It's uh, the texture, and it's these four little boxes to open up the file that you have saved on your computer somewhere.